Hi, this is Gary Wormey from Converge Mid America. Have you ever wondered why some churches just continually grow year after year through evangelistic outreach? Well, as I've watched pastors, as I've coached young leaders, and as I've worked with church planters, I've seen there's been one consistent thing that these leaders possess, and it's what I call a sowing mentality. The Bible has a lot to say about reaping and sowing. You know, the more you sow, the more you reap. And I believe that's true when sharing the gospel. The more times you share the gospel, the more you'll reap the rewards and the fruits of the gospel, which is ultimately change lives. I came across this verse in Ecclesiastes 11.6, and it says, Sow your seed in the morning and at evening. Let, not your, let your hands not be idle, for you do not know which will succeed, whether this or that, whether both will do equally as well. I think there's four real critical things we can learn about here in, in helping us develop what I call a sowing mentality. The first one is in the, this, this phrase, in the morning and at evening. You know, the ba- bottom line is, is that sewing is a 24-hour a day job. I mean, thinking about the idea of how am I going to, uh, thinking and praying and asking God to, to give you insight in how you can sow more seeds of the gospel into your community. How you can consistently and creatively sow the gospel seed uh, in your community is really important for a leader. And leaders with a sowing mentality, think about that. They're always thinking about how do we reach more people? How do we get the gospel out? How do we train our people to get the gospel out to their friends and neighbors? So they're almost like possessed by it. It's a 24 hour a day job. I think the second thing is we found in this phrase, let not your hands you know, be idle. You know, it's hard work. I'm telling you, if you're going to grow a church that's going to reach people, uh, lost people for the gospel, it's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of praying, a lot of dreaming, a lot of planning, and a lot of just getting out there and asking God to open the doors for you to share the gospel with people. You know, this isn't, you know, evangelism isn't for the faint of heart. Leading a, a church that's reaching people with the gospel, is, it takes hard work. It takes time. It takes tenacity. Uh, to do that. The third third thing is this. Um, the whole idea is in the phrase, you do not know, right? You do not know which will succeed, right? And so, so the, the, uh, people who have a sowing mentality, they embrace the idea of mystery. That God works in mysterious ways. And they're, they're, they just, they don't know which, which will succeed. So they try everything. Everything within the biblical framework, they try everything to get the gospel out into people's hearts, to equip their people to share the gospel with their friends, to encourage their people to invite people to evangelistic events, to encourage them to what include their neighbor in service projects in the community. You never know what's going to work. I was at a church this weekend where they, they were uh, making the Samaritan uh, um, shoe boxes for kids, and they had people... They were using it evangelistically because they invited their neighbors and friends to come and what? Create this shoebox full of all sorts of goodies, full of all sorts of useful things to what? To bless some child, some family uh, in a third world country. And so they included people in it. So they're creative and just saying, you know what? Come and join us as we try to touch the world. So... They don't know. They're not, they're not going to be, they, they embrace the mystery of how God would work. And then the last one is, you know, the whole idea is they're not worried about particular, what I say, particular methods, right? They're not fixated on, oh, this is the only method we're going to use in sharing the gospel. They're not, they're not, uh, um, uh, they're not stuck in that method. They're open to other opportunities. Because here's the bottom line, you know, God works and uh, God can use all sorts of things to get his message out to, to God's people. So those pastors who have what I call a sowing mentality understand it's a 24 hour day job. They understand it takes hard work. They're, they're, they embrace the fact that God uses things that we can't even imagine or dream of. And you know what? They're not fixated on just one method 
or one style or one model, but what they're willing to do anyway, anyhow, to reach people with the gospel. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.